I arrived at the beach, a place I had always wanted to visit. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and the waves were crashing against the shore. I was excited to start my vacation and explore everything this place offered. I had always been fascinated by the ocean and all the mysteries it held. I wanted to see the colorful fish, swim in the clear waters, and feel the cool breeze on my skin. So, when I heard about this beautiful beach, I knew I had to go. As I walked along the shore, I noticed a figure in the distance. It was a man with long, flowing hair and a muscular physique. He was unlike any man I had ever seen before. I couldn't take my eyes off him and felt drawn to him in a way that I couldn't explain. As I approached the figure, I realized that he was not a man at all. He was a merman. I was completely stunned and couldn't believe what I was seeing. I had heard stories of mermaids and mermen, but I had always thought they were just myths. The merman noticed me staring at him and spoke, Hello, human. What brings you to this part of the ocean? I stammered, I, I am on vacation. I've always wanted to visit the beach. The merman smiled, Well, you've certainly chosen an interesting place to visit. Not many humans ventured to this part of the ocean. I was curious and asked, What do you mean? Is there something special about this place? The merman replied, Yes, there is. My people protect this part of the ocean. We watch over it and make sure that no harm comes to it. Over the next few days, I spent more and more time with the merman. We would swim together in the ocean, talk for hours on the shore, and even explore the underwater world. He showed me things that I had never seen before, like schools of fish that glimmered like rainbows in the sun and underwater gardens filled with exotic plants. As we got to know each other better, I realized that I was falling in love with this mysterious creature. He was kind, funny, and had a deep understanding of the world and its mysteries. I felt comfortable talking to him about anything, and he always listened with empathy and understanding. One day, as we were swimming in the ocean, I accidentally let slip that I knew the merman was not human. I was afraid he would be angry or embarrassed, but instead, he just smiled and said, yes, I am a merman. But I hope that doesn't change the way you feel about me. I was relieved and replied, of course not. I love you for who you are, not what you are. The merman smiled and said, I'm glad to hear that. Not many humans accept me for who I am. I was shocked and asked, why not? You're kind, smart, and funny. What's not to love? The merman replied, because I'm different. And humans are afraid of what they don't understand. However, not everyone was as accepting of our love. The townspeople found out about the merman and started to fear him. They believed that he was a monster who would bring harm to their town. I tried to explain that he was just a being who loved and cared for the ocean, but they wouldn't listen. One day, a group of fishermen caught the merman in their nets and brought him to shore. They tied him up and were about to hurt him when I stepped in. I begged them to let him go and told them that he was no different than any of us. The fisherman laughed and said, You're crazy, girl. That thing isn't human. It's a monster. I was heartbroken and knew that I had to do something to save the merman. I gathered my courage and confronted the townspeople. I told them that I loved the merman and that he was not a monster, but a being with feelings, just like any of us. The townspeople were not swayed by my words, but I was not going to give up. I knew that I had to come up with a plan to save the merman. I spoke to the merman and told him my plan. We were going to escape together and find a place where we could be together without fear of persecution. The merman was hesitant at first, but eventually, he agreed to my plan. He said, I trust you, I. I know that you will find a way to keep us safe. We waited for the right moment to make our escape. 
When the townspeople were distracted, we snuck out and swam away as fast as we could. The journey was long and difficult, but we were determined to find a place where we could be together. We swam for days, stopping only to rest and eat. During our journey, we encountered many challenges, but we always found a way to overcome them. We learned to rely on each other and support each other through tough times. As we continued our journey, we discovered new underwater worlds and made new friends along the way. We finally found a place that was safe and hidden from the world. It was a beautiful underwater kingdom filled with friendly mermaids and mermen who accepted us for who we were. We were welcomed into the underwater kingdom with open arms. The mermaids and mermen showed us around and introduced us to their way of life. They were amazed by our story and couldn't believe that we had found each other in a world that was so full of hate and fear. The mermen and I settled into our new home and were finally able to live our lives together in peace. We were surrounded by love and acceptance and felt like we had finally found our place in the world. However, our happiness was short-lived. One day, a group of humans discovered our underwater kingdom. They had come to explore the ocean and stumbled upon our home. The mermen and I were worried that they would harm our new friends, so we stepped forward to confront them. But to our surprise, the humans were friendly and kind. They were fascinated by our story and wanted to learn more about our underwater world. We explained our situation and showed them around our home. They were amazed by the beauty of our underwater kingdom and promised to keep our secret safe. The mermen and I were overjoyed that our secret was safe and that we had made new friends among the humans. But just when we thought everything was perfect, an unexpected twist occurred. One of the humans was actually a scientist who had been studying the ocean for years. They discovered that our underwater kingdom was in danger due to the pollution and destruction caused by humans. The scientist told us that our home was slowly dying and that we needed to find a way to save it. The merman and I were shocked and saddened by this news. We had finally found a place where we belonged, and now it was in danger. We immediately went to work to come up with a solution. We gathered the mermaids and mermen and the humans and worked together to find a way to save our underwater kingdom. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months, but finally, we found a solution. We created a plan to clean up the ocean and raise awareness about the dangers of pollution. The mermen and I led the charge, working with humans and our underwater friends to make a difference. The plan was a success, and our underwater kingdom was saved. The mermen and I were hailed as heroes, and our love story became a legend in the underwater world. But most importantly, we learned that love knows no boundaries and that together, we can overcome any obstacle. The mermen and I lived happily ever after in our underwater kingdom, surrounded by love and acceptance. I never thought that I would find love in a place like this, the merman said as he held me close. Neither did I, I replied, but I'm so glad that we did. However, our story did not end there. Years passed, and the merman and I continued to lead the charge in protecting the ocean and raising awareness about the dangers of pollution. We also started a family and raised our children in the underwater kingdom. One day, as I was swimming through the ocean, I stumbled upon a group of mermaids and mermen who were in trouble. They were being hunted by a group of humans who wanted to capture them and exploit them for their own gain. I immediately went to the merman and told him what I had seen. He knew that we had to do something to help. I'll gather the humans and the other mermaids and mermen. We'll do everything we can to save them, the merman said, determination in his eyes. And so, the merman and I led the charge once again, fighting to protect the ocean and its inhabitants. We were successful in our mission, and the mermaids and mermen were saved. From that day on, the merman and I were known as the protectors of the ocean, leading the charge in the fight against pollution and exploitation. Our love for each other and for the ocean only grew stronger with each passing day. Years passed, and the merman and I grew old. We spent our days swimming through the ocean, admiring its beauty, 
and remembering all of the adventures that we had been on to.